morning dears welcome back we have completed our second block in the last class did you remember all the lessons okay we will revise we can revise it all the lesson in the first lesson what we learned simple past and past continuous tenses clear if we describe a past event we have to use which tenses chada tenses yes that is simple past and past continuous tense and what is the format of a past continuous or a simple past tense simple past tense we have to, how we will write subject plus which form of the verb a second form of the verb subject plus v2 plus object or rest of the sentence clear then second past continuous tense what is the pattern subject plus was or were plus ing form of the verb plus rest of the sentence clear then in the second lesson describing an event we use transitional words and phrases what is a transitional word transitional words are used to link ideas or separate events in a story which are the words like for example first next when soon right. then the third lessons magnify the moment while describing events to others if we use our five senses what will be the effect yes our descriptions will be more interesting to listen to and the fourth creating checklist and editing now you are, now you are very much aware of the checklist how can we use yes we can add checklist in our writing what is the benefit of adding such a kind of checklist yes that will help us to make our writing better so today let's start with block number 3 block number 3 what is the title sequencing events sequencing sequencing events sequencing events so above first block and second block both blocks are already over or completed so today let's start with block number 3 sequencing events in this we can lesson number 1 so i will show you the cover picture you have to look here can you see all of you can you see yes can you predict what we are going to read can you any type of predictions or guesses about ah oh, yes as the title suggest what is the title a day in the life of a washerman as the title suggest the sister story what tells this story tells about the a day about the day in the life of a washer man so we don't know for what the author wrote this story we have to know yes so the aim of this lesson is identify identify the author's purpose author's purpose for writing for writing this story so is this story a fiction or non fiction do you have any idea no idea because you are not at all 
aware of the fiction or non fiction i will tell fiction fiction what is a fiction what is a fiction anyone can answer no don't worry i will tell fiction is a ah oh, yes anyone no fiction is a literature in the form of prose especially novels that describes something imaginary clear that imaginary events that is fiction then non fiction non fiction non fiction what about non fiction is a prose writing that is informative or factual that is informative or factual that is not imaginary this is real the literature based in facts clear fiction that is all the events are imaginary and non fiction that is informative or factual so we want to know what is the purpose of writing this story so today we will read the story to find out how why the author wrote this so can you tell this a life a day in the life of a washerman is a fiction or non fiction yes it is a non fiction how can we say we can see many pictures in the story from those real photographs of the washerman we can say that this is a fiction or non fiction story tell me exactly this is a non fiction story so we want to know or we have to find out why the author wrote this let's read i will read it you can also read while reading your book you have to notice all the main events in the life of washerman and also you have to underline the new words that you come across in the story here yeah. so be ready a day in the life of washerman what is the title a day in the life of a washer man who by anu kumar before that you have to add the keywords also here keywords what is the purpose keywords what is author you know who is the author who is the author of this last story is anu kumar so author and purpose do you have any idea about what is purpose uh, each and every action there should be a purpose what is there should be a reason for for doing something that is the purpose so a day in the life of a washerman by whom anu kumar regu was a hard working washerman his day always began early after he had cleaned up his little shack sweeping it with great care he fed the stray dog he had picked up from the street then he prepared a small meal for himself what is the name of that washerman yes regu regu was a hard working washerman such a kind of what kind of a person he is yes a hard working man regu was a hard working washerman his day always began very late no early after he had cleaned up his little shack sweeping it with great care you know the what is the meaning of sweep he fed the stray dog what do you mean by fed dog feed fed dog as yes, gave food whom the stray dogs what do you mean by stray dogs uh, the dogs they are moving aimlessly moving away aimlessly that is stray dogs 
stray dog he had picked up from where he got that how uh, from the street then he prepared a small meal for himself next he got on to his bicycle he rode past the tall buildings there were lots of tall buildings every year there were more and more of them coming up and his tiny shack looked even tinier in front of the in front of those tall buildings every year there will be so many tall buildings what about the condition of his shack what is a shack a small house that is not well built so it is uh, is the smallest one then can you follow me he greeted the watchman who sat on his chair hello regu nice morning what he can you see regu and who is watchman regu greeted the watchman he greeted the watchman who sat on his chair hello regu nice morning in response to his greeting what watchman how hello regu nice morning regu waved back he never had time to notice how nice the morning was he was a busy man he was a busy one he wo he didn't get any time for what to notice how the morning was nice he never had time to notice how nice the morning was still he smiled if watchman uncle if watchman uncle was in a good mood that meant he must have heard from his family in his village in bihar what is this yes bihar he pulled out his notebook there were many clothes he picked up for washing and ironing from different houses and he will be very much busy for with what by washing drying and ironing and he pulled out his notebooks for what check the details of the dresses the notebook helped him remember whose dresses and the belongings of the dresses who are the owners of those dresses it also helped him keep track of the money different people owed him what do you mean by owed it also helped him to find out the persons who pay who paid him or to whom he want to give back maybe the balance like money different people owed him there were some who paid him at the end of the month others who did so daily some some person they were doing the payment on the daily basis some others at the end of the month today there were different things to be picked up from different houses he bundled all of these clothes into a big sheet that he slung over his shoulder what is he put all these clothes where into a big sheet that he slung over his shoulder what do you mean by slung he carried on his shoulder as he took the stairs down regu tied the sheet with the crumpled up clothes inside it with care just like handle with care the dresses are not his dress who the others so he want to handle he needs to handle all the dresses with care now he would have a long day ahead washing and ironing the clothes he cycled to the dobi ghat what do you mean by dobi dobi means washerman ghat then this was near the river what is the word the god that is the near the river this was near the river where some other washerman like him were already at work he was not only the washerman some others also there so this was near the river where some other washerman like him were already at work 
scrubbing the dirt of the clothes you know that scrubbing the dirt of the clothes thwacking them against the rock so that the sound echoed everywhere what do you mean by thwacking ha huh. what is you know the actions yes thwacking them against the rocks so that the sound thwacking them against the rocks so that the sound echoed everywhere echo means resound then regu like to walking by the river he like the way his friends shouted across to each other over the nose he like to walk by the river he like the way his friends shouted across to each other over the noise he waved to passing both men he would like to wave each the to whom each both men sometimes there were children on the boards who always waved back that you can see in this picture then as he walked for the clothes to dry regu sat under a tree he carefully wrote out the alphabet and the words that he was trying to teach himself what is uh, he was trying to learn something who is a teacher who is a teacher no one else he himself he carefully wrote out the alphabet and the words that he was trying to teach himself he already knew two languages how many languages he already knew he already knew two languages but english was something everybody was learning everybody was learning which language english so he also want he wanted to learn it too he already knew two languages but also he wanted to learn english too. his clothes dried in the next 2 hours within 2 hours the dress dried carefully he counted them again then he folded them and set off for home after took them back he what first he want or he will do he will count the dresses and fold them then set up for home the rest of the day he would iron the clothes regu knew that a coal iron a coal iron could work as well as the new lighter ones that ran on electricity they can do the ironing with them. what which kind of ironing that function on electricity no that is that was a coal iron where he worked there was no electricity he reached home and by then it was late afternoon he would iron clothes for the next few hours the few hours how he spent his time he spent his time by ironing clothes his dog barked with joy on seeing him what about uh, a stray, stray dog that you already know is that the dog was very happy by seeing whom on seeing what was the name of that washerman a yes, rego he held some pieces of grass and all the twigs in mouth what was he was he held some pieces of grass and all the twigs were in his mouth he offered them to whom he offered them the grass and the pieces of grass and it takes to whom to regu he offered them to regu as a gift regu smiled he no longer felt tired his dog always had a way of making him smile he was very much happy with whom with the dog so the story is over you have to answer me for some of my questions so have you learned what have you learned about washerman what have you learned hmm. we have learned about the washerman what you learned tell me yes well the washerman lives in a shack then every day he goes and collects clothes then hmm try it you can he spent 
he spends his day by washing drying and ironing clear okay then i already told you to underline the new words did you yes tell me some of them got twack dobi then is yes, now you are very much aware of the new words so then you have to tell me how the washerman spend his day he spend his day how by washing drying and ironing the clothes then why do you think the author has written this story why oh yes the author's purpose what is the author's purpose for writing this story the author's purpose is to inform us how a washerman spend his day what are the things he uses what are the things he does then who are the persons he meets clear let us aware of how a washerman spend his day who are the persons he meets and what are the things he does what are the some other features can you you can you notice what are the some other features you notice in the story ha ah, yes what is a ah, real photographs of the washerman and some verb forms which form past tense verbs then words like next then you have to tell me one more how is the how is this story different from the story you had already studied one story what was that yes the chakravarti investigator how this story what is the title a day in the life of a washerman is a story which kind of story is a non fiction story where the writer narrates the sequence of events as they happen in the life of whom in the life of washer man clear so that is a narrative non fiction story so whereas the chakravarti investigates that was a fiction story that the author what who was the author is yes, saumya rajendran the author wrote to entertain us clear that story wrote for what to entertain us then how is the story how is this story different from a biography yes anyone can answer no i will tell down by this story in the story we get information about the facts and events of only a single day only a single day who who's life in the washerman's life and what about biography however the biography gives us information about the facts and events of the persons and their life so we can revise all today we studied fiction non fiction narrative fiction then you have to note down your homework homework workbook you have to finish s1 right s1 the notebook write down the write down write down the new words new words and their meanings and their meanings
so that's all have a nice day thank you